Tesla Cybertruck owners who frequently charge using superchargers show as much as 5% battery degradation in a few months. That's about 30 times more than those who charge at home. These are Cybertruck owners who rely heavily on the supercharger network. Welcome back everyone. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please take a moment and subscribe to our channel and like this story. Give us thumbs up if you like the story that I'm about to share with you. So Tesla has chosen to power the Cybertruck with a brand new in-house built 4680 battery, which the electric vehicle maker calls the Cybercell. This is a departure from Tesla's long-standing strategy of uh, partnering with battery manufacturers to build the individual cells that go into the vehicle's packs. Tesla developed the batteries for previous vehicles, including the Model S, Model 3, Model Y, and Model X, in partnership with other companies such as Panasonic, Samsung, and LG Chem. And I believe Tesla has been also partnering and buying batteries from the CATL. Alternatively, Tesla, like I said, buys commercially available off-the-shelf batteries uh, in the case of CLTS, lithium iron phosphate uh, cells and BYD blade batteries. However, for the Cybertruck, Tesla has chosen to vertically integrate the battery cell manufacturing process, not counting a short Model Y production run powered by 4680 battery cells with slightly different chemistry. The Cybertruck is Tesla's first vehicle with in-house batteries. Given that the 4680 battery cells are new and have not yet been widely tested on the public roads, there is considerable interest in how these Tesla-built batteries will perform in the wild in real-time tests. Thankfully, several Cybertruck owners have recently shared their battery degradation numbers with us showing some interesting trends which I'm about to share with you. Overall, in the first few thousand miles, the trend is that Tesla's in-house built Cybertruck 4680 Cyber cells appear to be holding up pretty well. That's as long as the owners do not frequently use the supercharger network to charge their trucks. This is as long as owners mostly charge at home. Some Cybertrucks almost exclusively charge at home have retained 99.86% of their battery capacity after thousands of miles of travel. However, a few Cybertruck owners who frequently charge using Tesla's supercharger network have shown as high as 5% battery degradation with the first few months of ownership. If you have any idea why this is happening, let me know. I think this is because they fast charge, that because they're supercharging. These numbers were shared on the Cybertruck Owners Club forum after Kyle, a Cybertruck owner from San Jose, California, inquired about everyone's battery health. I will have the link in the description of this video, friends, and you can check it. Kyle asked fellow Cybertruck owners in the group to share their battery degradation, eliciting several responses. And at torquenews.com, we have a very nice story about, written about this, and I will have that link as well. So here's what Kyle wrote. Kyle said, I'm curious, what's your battery degradation? I lost 3% in 10 months of driving my Cybertruck, 15,000 miles, post yours below. In response, Several Tesla Cybertruck owners shared how much battery capacity their trucks lost over the past few months. On the bright side for Tesla, several Cybertruck owners showed that their trucks have barely lost any battery capacity over their short ownership experiences. This, this is good news for Tesla's 4680 batteries. For example, Steve, a Cybertruck owner from Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas, shows that his truck has only lost 0.14% of its maximum capacity over the past 8,100 miles of driving his Cybertruck. Jeff, another Cybertruck owner from Virginia, says he only uses superchargers sparingly and shows that over the last 7,000 miles, his truck has only lost 0.16% of its maximum capacity. 
Use supercharger sparingly, friends. These are incredible numbers that I reported. If we assume this rate continues, it means Jeff and Steve will retain over 98% of their battery capacity after 75,000 miles. These are good numbers, aren't these? However, the situation is less rosy for Cybertruck owners who frequently top up their trucks using Tesla's supercharger network or other fast charging outlets. For example, Gus, a Cybertruck owner from Austin, Texas, says that when he bought his Cybertruck, he exclusively charged it using the supercharger network, which caused it to degrade quickly by close to 5%. Yes, supercharger gives you fast charging, but try to plan your time and uh, charge at home as much as possible. Almost exclusively charge at home if you can unless you're driving. So Gus wrote this. He said, I front loaded my early degradation by supercharging exclusively in the first few months, but it's leveled off. Together with his post, Gus shared a screenshot of his Tessie up showing massive degradation over the first few months and later tapering off once he presumably stopped using the supercharger network. In the description of this video, I will have a link to our Torque News story. Check it and you can see that chart there. Gus's Cybertruck not only has 170.6 kilowatt hour capacity down from the original 123.2 kilowatt when the truck was new, Gus has lost more than 15% of range over the past few months, friends. Another Cybertruck owner, Carlos Thomas from Oakland, California, shares that he also frequently uses the supercharger network and that his truck has lost 3.16% of its battery capacity. This is what Carlos writes. Carlos says 10,000 miles of the 16,000 miles plus, uh, I, uh, plus miles I have driven have been free supercharging. I have not charged at home since July 2, 2025. You see, a lot of people supercharge using the superchargers because those are free, but it degrades the battery faster. Carlos shares that his Cybertruck now only has 118.6 kilowatt hour battery capacity. This is more than 10 miles of range gone. Another Cybertruck owner from Yuda similarly shares that he supercharges his truck one-fourth of the time and over 14,000 miles, it has lost more than 3% of its capacity. This is better than the first two Cybertruck owners who have lost 4% and 5% of their battery capacity, but the Yuda owner supercharges less than the other Cybertruck owners. Overall, looking at Cybertruck battery health for those owners, People who frequently supercharge their trucks experience as much as 30 times more degradation than those who charge at home. This is very important that we understand these things and use the superchargers or fast chargers for your electric vehicles very sp sparingly. Admittedly, there isn't enough data here to make a conclusive ruling that frequent supercharging will definitely harm Cybertruck battery packs or any battery packs. However, with more than 30 times the rate of degradation between the two groups, I believe Tesla, I believe actually this is at least worthy of further study. What do you think, friends? If you have numbers, please let me know in the comment section. Uh, I would love to hear from you. And uh, even if your vehicle is not a Cybertruck uh, or it's a different electric vehicle and you have observed charging at home mostly and sparingly and charging actually uh, at fast chargers. I would love to hear uh, your numbers in the comment section below. This is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. Also visit our links that I will have in the description of this video and see the chart that I was talking about. God bless you everyone. Give us thumbs up, subscribe and I'll see you soon in our next report.